Hello, my name is Karen Balby and I'm the technical manager here at Radley's. I would like to introduce to you the all new AVA software. AVA software can control and log apparatus in your laboratory. As you can see, I've already opened the AVA software. This is the window you see every time you open it. The recent experiments are listed on the left hand side. To make them always appear in your favourites, cl simply click on the star next to the experiment name. As you can see on the right hand side, there's also links here to setup guides and video tutorials which go through in detail how to set up experiments for your reaction. Just going to give you a quick overview of the features and benefits of the software. To do so, I need to create a new file by going to the new option on the left hand side. This window shows you all the backgrounds that you can use for your apparatus, including everything from a standard flask to a reaction vessel to the Radley's products such as Lara, um, Tornado or a carousel. To begin with, I'm going to use a reactor ready as my example, which when I click on it appears down in my preview. Um, and if I click create, that's going to take me to a new window. I can also um, control multiple parallel equipment f by setting them up from this window here so I could choose for example two reactor readies and control them within two different tabs. In this example I'm just going to control the one reactor ready. Click create and I have this window here which has an apparatus section, a results section and a schedule along the bottom. The apparatus window is where I can add my equipment and the schedule is where I can pre-program what I want that apparatus to do if I wish. I'm in demo mode here, as you can see at the top. This gives me access to all configurations and devices which enables me to evaluate the AVA software without need for either a license or the equipment to be plugged in. I'm going to add some pretend equipment to my apparatus window here to start with a stirrer to this zone at the top. Click on the stirrer icon and then click off of this to apply. This icon zone, zone down the bottom here is for circulators only so if I click on there I just get a circulator icon which I can choose. Again click off to apply. Although I just want to click back on there and add a temperature probe. I can also add devices such as pumps and balances to the addition zones which are the ones along the bottom here and also one more device, perhaps a pH meter you can see that I can also add things such as vacuum controllers and mass flow controllers to these zones as well. Now my equipment has been added I have a choice of where I control them from. I could either control them from the apparatus window by simply clicking on the start and the stop buttons and setting values directly or I can if I wish program a profile along the bottom to run step by step what you want the equipment to do. To begin with, I'm going to show you the control from the apparatus window. To start the apparatus control, simply click on the start stop button within the apparatus window for the device itself that you wish to start. This prompts you to enter an experiment name for the setup and for the data that's for this file. Control of the stirrer is started. I also wish to start the circulator. and switch to reaction and control and let's say in this example I actually increase the value to 45 degrees which I can do so by clicking in the box and typing a new value or using the up and down arrows to increase accordingly. If I zoom in to the bottom here along the schedule you can see the steps that I've created or have been created for me from the apparatus based upon the actions that I've just done. So if I just add 5 grams in a minute here and hit the start button, Ava will automatically add a step to the schedule for me for what I've asked it to do. So it's constantly tracking all of your actions in the apparatus window, which means that you can repeat the process that you've done with your equipment directly the next day via the schedule window by simply clicking on play. Just to show you an example of that, if I just stop the apparatus running in this window and then click on this area down here on any of the rows, 
I can activate control via the schedule window instead of the apparatus by clicking continue. Again I need another experiment name um, because I've got a new set of data and results. I then click on the on the play button on the schedule and that will start to make its way through these steps which it automatically created for me based upon my actions in the apparatus window. As you can see here, the waiting for the end condition is waiting to achieve that um, value in the set box. That's the default end condition for that step. So it's always going to keep going until it's reached that value, unless I actually go into the step itself and change the end condition to basically finish as soon as the time's elapsed rather than waiting for the set value to be achieved. For now, I'm just going to stop this running. Another approach you can have is to actually create a schedule from from scratch. To do so, I click on the delete button on the schedule. Just apply that delete. New a new experiment name, of course. Click back on any row of the schedule to activate schedule control again. And now I can change these steps by either clicking on them, changing the duration fields, click off to apply or I can actually drag the box itself to change the duration for that step. If I just click on the bottom here, the stereo becomes active, 200 RPM for example. Just going to zoom out a little and then I can add my next step, so perhaps heat to 50. hold at 50 and then add another step to cool down for example if I click on the middle step here of the pump I can then also set that to make an addition during that hold at 50 phase Anywhere where you get these little arrows it shows that the steps are linked together and that as this one finishes this one starts meaning that the addition won't start until the reaction has reached 50 degrees. You can also add a pause step. Say for example I need to add something here before the hold phase. What it will do is it will make its way through this step once it's reached 50 degrees it will display a message on the screen and wait for me to physically allow it to continue. Just going to push play on the schedule. The schedule will now automatically move through those steps that I've created, setting the apparatus to each of the values shown in each each window there. I can also add an override or a limit to the addition to say for example that if the reaction temperature exceeds 55 degrees then I want the uh, feed to automatically stop and pause at that moment, wait for the temperature to go back down to below 55 and then continue. So you can achieve automatic safety and control throughout any of your reactions using overrides. The event log in the results window here can be used to add comments to your file. This is time stamped and put against the data from each of the devices so you know exactly what was happening at the time. You can also configure your graph views and see whatever you like on each of the graphs. So for example, if you want to see the reaction temperature in relationship to your addition, then you can do so. Just going to show you the skip function quickly so you can skip through the schedule and you can also make any changes that you like to any of the steps um, as it's running. So very flexible schedule tool. Just going to stop that one running now. 
As I mentioned at the beginning, you can control not just one, but you can control multiple, up to four systems as well. So for example, if you wanted to control two systems the same as this, you can actually just very simply copy this setup by right-clicking on the tab and selecting Copy. And then you have two of the same with my overview window. Or another approach you can do is add another configuration to your setup. So control another vessel and then add the devices that you wish to control within that window there. So like I said you can control up to four systems in parallel. The reporting tab enables you two export options. One which if I click the preview is a Word document and this shows you all of what would be included in that for me. The other of which is uh, CSV, so if you just click on export there you can export your data to CSV from which you can obviously create any graphs or so on that you wish to do so. Just going to go back to my reaction tab. You also have some advanced safety features for your system that you can put in place by clicking on the settings wheel in the apparatus window and you can for example display a warning if the temperature is above 51 degrees so that will make the actual sensor box go yellow and draw your attention to it. You can also have uh, this safe state condition which is for example an emergency um, set of conditions that you wish to put in place so if the reaction temperature in this example was to go above 60 we may wish the stirrer to continue but for the circulator to actually crash cool down to 20 degrees and obviously for our pump additions to stop. So what will happen is if the, if the reaction were to go above 60 degrees is that the safe state would be triggered and all these values will be set to their um, set safe values. Again another very useful safety feature of the AVA software. So this was just a general introduction to the AVA software and its features. I hope you found it useful. We do have many other video tutorials which explain everything in detail from setting up your apparatus to, co to your complex schedules with the advanced safety features which I've briefly touched upon. You'll notice that there's lots of different question marks throughout the software. These will take you to the relevant section of the help pages and can hopefully provide you a little bit more information on what you're trying to achieve. Thank you very much.